Howdy ho chums, it is I, Captain Steven Exo, and today chums, I'm going to be reviewing uh, a demo. Now, this one is called Star Child, and I believe it's PSVR only, but it could come to other platforms, I'm unsure. However, there's a little bit of controversy about this title. Pre-orders, for some reason, have been pushed back. So, it, some people thought it was cancelled, but from what I can read and what I can make out, it could be back on the cards for release around the end of July, according to GameStop's listings anyway, chumps. So I'm going to load this demo into my holographic globe gadget. So this is a star chart for PSVR. There you go, load it in. And an EXO, if you will mind my friend, just executing that for me. Go! Okay there, chumps, I am trying out Star Child on PlayStation VR. Oh wow, this looks very No Man's Sky-esque. It looks like I'm actually standing on some sort of knowledge stone right now. And those little crabs, you know, they're everywhere in freaking No Man's Sky, aren't they? This looks very freaking... Oh, there's a short ship. That was so cool. Now, there should be biomes like this on No Man's Sky. I mean, the sense of scale... Oh, jeez. This is strange. I feel like a giant now. This other ship has just came straight in here. Oh, this is so cool. This is a bit gnarly, this is a bit strange. I'm sort of out-of-body experience type thing. I don't know what I am or why I am. And uh, I have no idea what's going on right now, chums. But I am really liking this ship. Let's get a little bit closer look at that. That is so cool. I like the little hover pads that are on the underside. That would be a welcome addition. Oh, there's a crab creature that followed me in here. Cool. Oh wow, look at all this. This is like the glowing caves inside the actual planets. But yeah, it'd be nice to have a ship like that in No Man's Sky, wouldn't it? That's really cool. And some of these alien type life forms, they look very alien. Oh, I wish caves looked more like this. I mean, I know they've upgraded the Abyss, but they could really go at it with caves in No Man's Sky. I know I'm comparing this a lot to No Man's Sky, but it's got that feel to it. You know, I was on a freaking knowledge stone at the start, chum. Sorry, I should be reviewing Star Citizen as a standalone game rather than comparing it to No Man's Sky. But, you know, well, my channel is No Man's Sky Adventures. And I just can't help it because the similarities are uncanny. I mean, that looked like a freaking galactic trade terminal interface, didn't it? Okay, right, so we're now on the lower deck, so hopefully the game is going to start. That was one heck of a long intro. Oh, hello, little person. Oh, sweet. Cool. So you actually play as a female character in this. Uh, no choice of character selection, which is which is a little bit um, disappointing. It would have been nice to make your own avatar, but she looks quite cool, doesn't she? She's got these little blue things on her wrist. I can't bring her towards towards me. It's quite linear, quite flat. Let's go through here. Let's see what, what there is then. Okay, again, I can't sort of go into the background or foreground, and none of the other buttons seem to do jack so yes this does feel very linear um, I would say moss and also um, uh, or what was it the robot one that I, that I played the Astro bot felt a lot more immersive than this because you could actually bring the character to the foreground look there's a little spider running around over there that is so so weird look at him go go around the little crystal hello little spider dude hello Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, bring this. It's so cool how you should brush it through the grass. And the grass here even looks like the grass in No Man's Sky. Okay, so when you actually get close to things, you just sort of jump at it, and it does it for you. It kind of takes a bit of the player control away from the player. It would be nice to actually have grab buttons. Oh, there's a big meanie over there. Run, little lady. Run. He is freaking huge. Looks like a scorpion. Oh, he's got a big stingy tail. He is a scorpion type of creature. Let's... Uh, Let's just keep our wits about us and uh, press on. I really do like this glowing type atmosphere. Ooh. Oh, okay. So now I can press square and I interact with this dandelion looking thing. Okay, what's this? Okay, if I press X, it rises. Let's touch that little lamp. Okay, I guess I've got to get this string thing and attach it to that thing. Nope, missed. Okay, so maybe try again. Oh, if I hit the ground, that starts again. There we are. And fly him in there. Oh, the slot's in. Well, that... Well, okay, so that activated this doorway, did it? Okay, great, so I can press on. That that felt a little bit crud. I mean, those bits of string don't seem to really connect to much. And I guess I've got to do the same thing here, but with lots of string. Great fun. Okay, so let's go get this bit of string. Not that one. Probably, I've probably got to do it in some sort of order, but 
I don't know. Let's grab this. Plug that onto there. Get this one. Come with me. Tether that onto there. And uh, need to get. Let's just do it in random order. Let's see if it makes any difference. I can go onto there. No, I guess you can do it in any order you like. And I, I'm guessing that it's going to activate something over on this pad in a bit. So I can go up there. Attach that to there. And I guess I've got to put him in this little hole. Okay, now that should open something over there, hopefully. What? Okay, it didn't. It opened something there. Hello, giant Corvax chum. Oh, crap! It's a giant scorpion creature. Quick, crawl away, crawl away. Come on, come on. You can... Oh, good, the Corvax creature has come to help me. Thank you, Corvax chum. He's probably not a Corvax. I mean, this has got nothing to do with No Man's Sky, but you can see the similarities, can't you? Oh, my God, it's uncanny. Okay, so we're going to climb up here. Oh, hello. It didn't open anything over there anyway, so that was pretty much my only choice. Oh, you are awesome. I hope I get to pilot that. That'll be freaking awesome. Oh, crud. That's the end of the uh, demo. Okay, well, demo-wise, it certainly got me intrigued. Yeah, what does that say? I am only rating the demo on what we actually saw and the intrigue that it's instilled. I am rating this provisionally at 84%. Okay, so chums, now this game has got me slightly excited. I mean, I just want to know what happens next. That demo was far too short, and it was beautiful. I mean, yes, it was a little bit linear, a little bit flat, but there were 3D aspects there, where you go into the background and foreground, etc. Um, but it felt like Metroid Prime to me, chums. It really did. It actually felt quite nice to play, quite slick. The graphics were nice. I like the Mini. I like the Big Guardian. It had a No Man's Sky type feel to it. And yeah, I, I can't wait to see a little bit more on this title. And it's one that I'm watching eagerly for PlayStation VR. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review that I myself done and the scoring that Exo gave was fair based on the demo and what we saw in the analysis. So yeah, it, it, it's early days, chums. Now we may review the full game once it comes out in more depth because this is one that, as I say, I'm going to add to my radar and hopefully pick up and play in, in larger detail once the full thing comes about. All right, chums. Well, catch you later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Okay, so here's the article that shows that it hasn't actually been cancelled. And yes, here's the tenuous link from uh, Reddit via um, GameStop that shows that it should be out on the 31st of the 7th, but that could be an error. Okay, and here are my Patreon supporters. Thank you very much for your support there, guys. And yes, if you want to join my Patreon, there is uh, pretty much something for everyone, including ship models one day. And yes, I've got social media, I've got um, Twitter, I've got Instagram, and I've got my own website. There it is on the screen there, chumps. Yeah, give it a look-see. On there is a shop link, and you can get merch. Oh yes, I have merch. Yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you're enjoying what you're seeing, please think about liking, subscribing, perhaps sharing it with others, or even clicking one of these awesome links and staying with Captain Stephen Exo that little bit longer. Hell oh, yeah. And if not, we'll see you again soon, chums. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Thank you for watching.